Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylittrumstudios.co.uk and in today's episode of my Studio One 4 series, this is episode number four, we're going to look at uh, one of the most requested features, not necessarily the most, but one of the most requested features, and that is track notes. So this will be mercifully for you guys a very short video and track notes are very cool, very easy to use, very easy to get set up and uh, it's a little more than just track notes at the bottom of the mixer as you'd expect from Pro Tools and at the in the track list as well again as you'd expect in Pro Tools um, but it's a little bit more than that I'm going to show you uh, some of the other cool aspects to this as well. So first of all how do we enable it, how do we get it? So let's go to the mixer. Let's start with this mixer view and I'll show you how you get track notes enabled to start with here. So first of all, you need to go up to the options wrench here, click this guy, and then you go down to here, to this option here, show channel notes, and we click that, and boom, they appear at the bottom. Very, very cool. And the cool thing is you can move them up or you can have them minimized as much as you want. You know, it depends on how much information you have contained in these guys as to um, how big you want them to be. So there you go. That's, uh, and as you can see, I've already written something in this because uh, I was very happy to have track notes. So I just wrote something silly. But I'm going to show you how you actually write in these guys. It's very simple. Let's say uh, this soprano sax. Let's say we, um, we wanted to write in here what mic we used. So I double click, it turns black, and you get the flashing cursor, and I would say uh, Rode NT, oh, Rode NT1 A. Then I hit enter, it's done. I still got the flashing cursor, but that's okay, I just click away. There, it's done. And there it says, Rode NT1A. Perfect. So now I know, every time I open this session up, that the soprano sax was recorded with the Rode NT1A. And I can put anything else that I want to uh, to put in here. And that's all cool. But let's have a look at how you get it in the track list as well. Okay, so let's close the mixer. And let's go to the event view here. Here's our track list. How do we get it in the track list? Because I've already made two notes. I made one on the lead vocal and one on the soprano sax. So where are they? So we need to go up to this wrench here. We click this one and we go down and it says show track notes. And that's where we want to go. So we click that and boom, they open up. And as you can see, the note for the soprano sax that I wrote here, wrote NT1A appears in both. So it's there and there. Perfect. So we've got the track notes in the uh, in the track list here and in the channel uh, on the mixer. Perfect. So I'm going to show you another aspect of this, which I don't think many people actually realize or know about, but it's, it, it's just as cool. So if we go up to the song menu and we go down to song information, we click that and this is the song note that appears. Here's, here's all the song information. So here's the title, Chanel, artist, Johnny Lipson, that's me. Belonging to Tomorrow's the Album, 2016. Nice nice artwork there and my website there. But look at what we have here. What we used to have was info and song notes. Song notes is very cool. You can put lyrics in here. So I could just put all of my lyrics for, for this song in this section here. But now look what appears. Track notes. And have a look. There's a track note over here and I can expand it out right across. And there's my note for the lead vocal, Yeehaw Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, and the soprano sax solo, Rode NT1A. Very, very cool, very, very handy. So I can make any notes I want on any of these in the mixer and in the, uh, in the track, uh, and they will all appear here. So if I wanted to print this off, I can. Very useful. All right, so I hope that you have found this useful and helpful. So there are three ways in which you can view notes on your tracks, channels, and in the song information. So I hope that was helpful. See you in the next video. Bye for now.